Hey guys, this is City again. Um, after explaining how to set up your own Quake Life mapping environment in my last video, I now want to make a short video about navigating in the editor and selecting brushes and surfaces. Before we get um, started about making your first room. So yeah, go ahead and launch Radiant. And once you've done that, go to the file menu in the menu bar and click open. It's going to um, bring up the file browser um, with your Wolfcam base crack 3 maps directory which will later contain all your saved map files. Currently for you there should only be the infinity map file. Um, as you might know infinity is a Quake Live CDF map and we've included the source file with Radiance so people that are new to mapping or not familiar with Quake Live mapping can get an idea about what a finished map looks like on, and how domination points work, you know, stuff like that. So go ahead, select infinity.map and click open. We are going to use infinity to get an idea about how to navigate in the viewport but before doing that, um, you can see there's a lot of stuff going on here right now. And we will just disable the things that are not of our interest right now. To do this, go to the menu bar, click View, and go to the filter menu. Then uh, select the translucent filter. Yeah, it's, it disabled all those brushes that were across the room here. Um, and you can quickly toggle this filter by pressing the ALT key uh, alongside with 4. So ALT plus 4 will toggle translucent brushes. Alright, so another thing is um, you can see the geometry is fading out here in the distance. Um, this is a feature for people who have um, you know a weaker PC and can't handle uh, so much geometry at once. So yeah, to disable this there is an icon here in the icon bar which is called uh, cubic clip the camera view and pressing this will disable the geometry fading out on distance. If you got a weak PC you might as well um, keep it turned on but you usually don't need it unless you make a really really big map or have really loads of detail. However, yeah, we are going to have it turned off for now. All right, then now we are going to have a look at the viewports. Um, you can see here you got three 2D viewports and one camera view. In the top right corner, there is the top view, so you um, have a look on your map from above, basically. Um, below it you got the front view and in the bottom left corner there is the side view. Um, navigating in those viewports is really simple. Um, you can hold down right the right mouse button and drag around to navigate in the viewport and you know get from one point to another. Release the button to stop moving obviously and use the mouse wheel to scroll into uh, into the viewport or out of it. So yeah, right mouse button um, to move around, scroll wheel to zoom in or zoom out. And it's the same for all of the 2D viewports. So uh, yeah, here in the front view, right mouse button to move around um, and the scroll wheel to zoom and the same in the side view right mouse button move around scroll wheel zoom in or zoom out and that's it pretty much for the 2D viewport so then um, we are going to have a look at the camera view um, the camera view obviously it, it displays the same stuff you can see in the 2D viewports except in 3D and to look around in the camera view right click into the window and use your mouse um, to move around 
our look around. And to move, use the scroll wheel. If you scroll up, you will move forward, and if you scroll down, you will move backwards. One more thing you can do is you can uh, move on the axis of your view plane. So if you want to move to the right or to the left or up or down without going forward or backwards, hold down the control key and move your mouse to the right, to the left, or up or down. So yeah, it basically uh, limits your move pa uh, movement to the axis of your view plane. So once again, right click to activate the camera view, use your mouse to look around, use the scroll wheel to move, or um, use control and your mouse to move on your view plane axis. Alright, um, yeah, one more thing about the viewports. If you, you know, sometimes, you, if you work on uh, stairs, for example, you might want uh, to temporarily resize one of your viewports. To do that, you can simply uh, use those handles here, press left mouse button, and you can easily rescale each of the viewports however you need it. Alright, one more thing I'd like to show you is how to select brushes and surfaces. Um, usually you select things in the camera view, so what you're going to do is look up the brush you uh, want to work with and press um, shift and left mouse button to select it. You can deselect it um, with pressing shift and left mouse button again or deselect everything if you select multiple, multiple brushes uh, you can deselect everything by pressing the escape key. So shift and left mouse button to select a brush or several brushes and shift mouse left mouse button again to deselect it or press escape to deselect all. Um, ex um, besides brushes you can also select brush surfaces. So you can see this is one brush but this brush has um, four visible surfaces and you can select each of them by clicking um, the left mouse button while holding down shift and control. So shift and control plus left mouse button to select surfaces. If you want to select more than one surface, um, hold down shift, control and alt and press left mouse button. So yeah, as you can see, um, that will allow you to select several surfaces rather than just one at a time. So um, shift and control plus left mouse button to select a surface and shift control and alt to select multiple surfaces or deselect surfaces. And then again you can also press escape to deselect everything. So yeah, th that's pretty much it for selecting brushes. The same also works for weapon entities like this rocket launcher here or curved surfaces. You can simply hold down shift, use the left mouse button to select it and press escape to deselect everything. All right. So yeah, that's it pretty much for navigating in Radiant and using the viewports. Um, in the next video I'm going ahead and showing you how to make a first room and connect two rooms with the doorway. Until then, uh, I suggest you just open up this map and move around a bit in the viewports, try to get comfortable, select a few brushes in a 3D window and try to find them in your viewports. And yeah. I hope um, you enjoyed it and I hope it helped. Goodbye.